morning, man is about to launch himself on a trip to the moon. Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin sitting there atop the... It is the July 20th, 1969, and man is about to land on the moon. From now on, for what uh, will be uh, truly a historic time, I the country and in the existence the whole world has stopped man to set out on the adventure to escape from his own planet and to set foot on a distant one. Hello there, great man. Hello there. The lunar module cutting itself free from the command module, beginning the maneuvers which should place it on the surface of the moon. Roger, how does it look? Stay open. Shifting your adult for landing, over. I understand. Go for landing. Three feet, two and a half down. We're drifting to the right, little. 30 seconds. Base here. The Eagle has landed. Well, for thousands of years now, it's been man's dream to walk on the moon. And right now, after seeing it happen, knowing that it happened, it still seems like a dream. We think that you've done a magnificent job up there today. Thank you very much. It's been a long day. Man has landed there, and man has taken his first steps there. I wonder just what there is to add to that. To some philosophers, the moon was a perfect crystalline sphere of divine substance, free of Earth's imperfections. Galileo, with his telescope, saw a more familiar reality. He noted mountains and valleys on the moon, features like those of Earth. Flash forward to the modern age of lunar studies. 1959 saw the first in a fleet of probes launched by the Soviet Union and the United States to shoot close-up pictures, take readings. We learned then just how different the moon is from Earth. That intensified a debate about the moon's origin that went back centuries. The astronauts of Apollo lifted off on a series of missions to get a close-up look at the moon and perhaps settle the debate. Because there's no atmosphere there, the astronauts entered landscapes that are nearly frozen in time. They could scour the lunar surface for evidence of events going back almost to the time of its birth.
Well, for thousands of years now, it's been man's dream to walk on the moon. Right now, after seeing it happen, knowing that it happened, it still seems like a dream. Man has landed there, and man has taken his first steps there. I wonder...